This is what filming during playtime looks like. Freya knows how to play with these without dying. <laughs> now you're stuck. <laughs> Bela's little home within the home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sooner or later, I will take these Christmas lights down from the hallway, but for now, they are going to stay there. I'm sorry for all of your doggos at home listening to these squeakers go off. <laughs> I thought I would walk you guys through what the apartment looks like right now for puppy number two and how we basically like puppy proof the apartment or just puppy's area, Bela's little home within the home. It is very similar to the area that Freya had when she was a puppy. They're also playing right beneath this chair that my camera's on, so I'm sorry. This is what filming during playtime looks like. It does look similar to Freya's setup, but it is different and the apartment in general just looks a little chaotic all the time. So I did want to show it in its like actual natural state. At the end of the night, we do like clean everything up because I like to start the morning at least fresh, but I let it turn to chaos throughout the day because these two play nonstop. We do a lot of training. Puppy just has some energy and stuff like that. So I do let it get messy throughout the day. We clean it up at night and then we pull it all back out on the morning. I will link the video where I brought Freya home for the very first time and like her first 48 hours at home. It's at the end of the video, but I gave you guys a tour of what Freya's area looks like you will be able to see that it's very similar, but it is different. Thank you so much for bringing Uh, uh, uh. But that way you guys can see the differences. I will also link literally everything that I can down below. If I miss a link, let me know and I will try to find it for you. Let's hop into this little tour of the apartment right now. First step to puppy proofing is to close the doors. This is the door to the bedroom. This is the door to the office. The little elephant that she pulled out of here is like a little doorstop that we keep here, but she likes to pull it out. But this is the spare bathroom that does stay open 24 seven because the dog's water is in here. There's no room in the kitchen for the water bowls and I wanted them somewhere with like, you know, linoleum easy to clean if there's a spill so that's why they're in the bathroom this is just an overview of what this area looks like i will of course break it down and we're going to start with her actual area so this is a playpen that i had for freya also the crate is freya's but this whole setup i had with freya and it was so helpful but one thing that helped a lot with freya was having this playpen attached to the crate and i just used some carabiner clips to do that with this i'm able to actually like close this in Pull this up and connect the walls. And Freya got herself in there. Now you're stuck. <laughs> but there is actually a little door right here too. So if you didn't want to like lift open the doors or like the whole peg to it, the dog can enter through this little door. This part is just easier because people can pass through this. So of course, if I needed to go get her from like inside, this is how I would enter the playpen. But it is just really nice to have a little extended area for her to hang out in rather than only having to hang out in the crate. I do alternate between like naps in the crate and naps in the playpen because I want her to get used to being out in the open and being obviously in the crate to sleep. So she takes naps in both. This used to be your setup, huh? See? So yeah, this was Freya's crate as well as her crate cover. There is a divider in this crate. This is the side that Bela sleeps in. It has a little towel slash like little blanket in there for her. And then I also keep a tiny little bone that she can't like chew up and choke and die on, but something for her to gnaw on. I also have a puppy Benna bone that's out because she likes to chew on it as well, but that usually goes in here at night. So if she gets bored, she has things to do. I sometimes put this in here just so when she is taking a nap, she can have a bed, but this section is still big enough that she can lay on the floor without like overheating but normally this bed is hanging out outside here so that way she can practice you know napping out in the open but still enclosed and safe this is like a waterproof liner flooring that is new compared to freya's setup because with freya i just had her on the hardwood so if there were any accidents like i never had to worry about it but we only have carpet everywhere so i just got a little like tarpy kind of thing so that way if there are accidents which she has had it doesn't go into the carpet and it's an easier cleanup this way here's her little puppy bed bone. Freya loves her Benna bones and the puppy's been chewing on them, but they're a little too hard for her puppy teeth. So I got her a puppy specific one. So that way it's softer for her, even though Freya keeps chewing it up because she loves these things. This little basket is Bela's toy bin that right now holds her little training treats, her slow feeder, her chalkboard for her little weekly pup date stuff. And at the bottom of here is actually just a whole bunch of stringy toys that Freya plays with, but I don't want the puppy to play with them right now because I don't want her to eat them. Like Freya knows how to play with these without dying. <laughs> so I took these out and off the floor so that way puppy can't get to them. The only toys that are out are ones that like she can play with 
as a puppy. Now, aside from being able to like put her up and keep her safe and out of the way with this, which is super, super helpful, there's also two extra pieces to it, but it would be too big for this area. So instead we're kind of using them as a baby gate right here, being held up by this pink chair up against this entry table. And this just opens and closes like a little door. So when we don't want to use the baby gate, we just leave it open and we can close her off. Now she can obviously just like knock that down really easy. So we just have this box that's heavy and can hold it up. That sits right here so not the most glamorous look but it is functional so if i needed to like run to pee real quick or make some coffee i can leave her over there playing with freya so that i can make coffee and still kind of like see her it also helps because right now puppy really wants to mess with and chase kitty a lot so kitty's able to stay on this side of the apartment with the baby gate and that way puppy can't get to her and she can come and use her litter box because that's in here kitty's food is up here on the counter the water she shares the water with the dogs thankfully puppy is too small she can't jump on the couch yet so she does have to stay on this side however Freya can jump back and forth. Freya, go. <laughs> so also if Freya needed time away from puppy, she can also escape puppy's wrath. Now on this side of everything is of course where all the toys live. Obviously they make their way into the rest of the house, which is totally fine, but they're over here. She's chewing a little bone there. We have tons of toys everywhere. This is the toy bin that Freya has. And right now I just dump it out. So that way she can grab whatever she wants of all different kinds of textures and sizes or whatever. What's also over here for the dogs is the bells. Freya is fully bell trained, still working on that with puppy. She has not learned yet to like ring the bells. Right now she's been kind of like walking to the door. I've kind of noticed that she's about to grab some shoes. Uh-uh-uh. Good girl. So we're still working on that, but also here is basically the central for all of Freya's, but you know, bela has been using some as well. All of Freya's leashes, all of Freya's collars and bandanas. This is where I keep all the doggo stuff. She's over there chewing on the toy bin. She loves to get in there. It's absolutely hilarious. But that is typically what this apartment looks like. It doesn't look good all the time. It looks chaotic. It looks like we have a puppy because we do. We let the house get a mess. We clean it up at night. These two are just full of life, full of spunk, and always find the loudest squeakers. You're such a good girl. Like I said, everything that I have to link will be linked down below, but let me know if I miss anything. Let me know if you have any questions about our setup or the puppy areas or how something works or why we have something. Feel free, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. If you're not yet already, make sure you subscribe down below because I do post weekly dog vlogs, dog hauls, training videos, whatever you name it, every single Friday on this channel here. Thank you so much for watching our little puppy area tour. We will see you next week. Bye.